you've never experienced the debilitating and often rather painful feeling of a muscle cramp, then I'd count yourself very lucky indeed. But if you have, then don't worry because there are some simple steps that you can incorporate into your daily lives or your training routine to help prevent having them in the future. So today, I'm gonna to talk about what a muscle cramp is and how you can prevent experiencing them. So first things first, what exactly is a muscle cramp? Well, a cramp occurs when a muscle suddenly becomes shortened uncontrollably and then locks into a painful spasm. And these spasms occur when a muscle, or even just a few fibers of a muscle, contract involuntarily or without you consciously doing anything. Cramps themselves are often common in muscles or muscle groups that span two joints. However, we can feel them almost anywhere and likely places are our hands, our tummy or our abdominal muscles, the muscles in and around our rib cage, and our feet and toes too. So what exactly causes cramps? Well, there are a few key things that we can chat about. For example, poor hydration, or not including enough electrolytes or minerals in your diet, or something like an overuse of a muscle because it's not accustomed to the training you're trying to put it through, or even unaccustomed fatigue from simply holding a particular position for too long are all things that can contribute to cramping. But if I'm honest, there's no right or wrong reason for talking about a cause of a cramp. It all remains a little bit of a mystery. But all that being said, let's go and talk about how to try and prevent cramps as best as we can. Now, it's a tricky business trying to research cramping, mostly because it's hard to predict when cramps are gonna happen, largely due to the sheer unpredictability of cramping in general. And that makes it quite hard to work backwards to try and work out ways to prevent cramps happening in the future. However, that being said, there are a few key fundamentals that we can think about to help prevent any unwanted cramps happening. And the first thing is nailing a good nutritional strategy and working on your dietary requirements. Now, although vital is having lots of good fluid intake before, during and after any training and also just throughout the day, I will talk about that in a little bit. But coming back to diet, you really must try and look into having a really good high carb, unprocessed diet that's got lots of high carbohydrate rich foods like cereals, breads, pasta, rice, beans and lentils, starchy fruits and vegetables as well, because what they do is all include quite a lot of potassium and many of those foods like cereals or even breads, some canned foods that you might be having as well, have got added salt too, which takes care of sodium intake as well. Now another two key minerals to think about because of their function in the muscles are calcium and magnesium. Now the obvious places to think about for calcium is dairy products like milk and cheese, yogurt, nuts and seeds too. And in terms of magnesium, well you can look to whole grain brown breads and rices and cereals. Now sometimes magnesium gets a little bit overlooked in our diet, so it might be worth thinking about supplementing with magnesium as well. Now as essential as good dietary basics are, we really can't neglect our hydration and our electrolyte balance. And this is where things like carbohydrate sports drinks or electrolyte tabs can really come into play. Now, let's say we're in a hot and humid environment. Well, sweat losses are gonna be considerable. So we really have to stay on top of our hydration and electrolyte intake, even if the intensity and duration of the activity isn't really that much. But whatever the conditions are, there's actually no surefire way that you can guarantee that you're gonna stave off cramping. However, researchers have proven in longer duration activities that something like a 6% standard carbohydrate sports drink can go a long way to help preventing having cramps. But unfortunately, we can't say for sure that they won't happen. Now one thing lots of people agree upon is that a well-targeted stretching program can not only go a long way to reducing the instances of exercise-induced cramping, but also help stop cramps occurring whilst they're happening. Now we're not talking about anything fancy here, just some static, passive 15 to 30 second holds. And although the mechanism here is kind of unclear, what we know is that by doing this stretching program, we're just lengthening out the muscle fibers and that really helps with avoiding cramps. Another thing that's really good to think about doing is trying to include massage therapy, especially after hard or tough workouts. But of course, that's quite expensive. So another really good alternative is things like massage rollers or even things like golf balls or lacrosse balls, which are really useful for things like myofascial release and trigger pointing. So what's the best plan of attack for avoiding cramps? 
Well, I'm afraid there's no easy answer to that question, I'm afraid. However, if you gradually build your training up so that you don't shock your body with fatigue, that's going to be a great start. And of course, you need to just pay attention to good diet, proper hydration, and include things like electrolytes and minerals, and that's going to go a long way to helping avoid those painful and unwanted cramps in the future. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video, so please hit that thumb up like button. Find the globe somewhere on screen to make sure you get all the rest of the videos on our channel. And if you want to see a video that we did about how to find your run heart rate zones, well, that's going to be here. And if you want to see another video about how to run without getting tired, well, you can find that here.